This is Kevin from DSI, and we're blowing it up for Capital Chaos TV. You are number 666. I wanted to go back a little bit. As you guys are both, are you both from Florida or currently in Florida or no? Everybody from Florida is not from Florida. <laughs> it's kind of similar to California. Well, I guess some people are from California. I'm not, but, but you guys all ended up in Florida, I guess. Uh, yep, uh, I'm Buffalo, steve New Jersey, Glenn is Niagara Falls-ish, Kev is what? Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Cool, Myrtle Beach. So nobody's in Florida then. Relocation, that's where we wanted to retire, but we had to write music and stuff. Now you were originally from Buffalo, and then spent some time in Florida, and then yeah. went back, or are you always kind of commuted back and forth in your uh, early days, or cannibal days? Or? Yeah, well, cannibal days, we started recording at Bora Sound, and then we moved down in about 94... And just, just to be closer to. Yep. yep. Just to be closer to Morris Sound, and then when we moved down, we started recording in El Paso. Totally. And I moved to Florida because I met them all on PlentyOfFish.com, and I was like, Oh yeah, let me come down and jam with you guys. Not what I was looking for on this. Stuff. PlentyOfFish.com. Yeah, I was looking for something else, but I was like, Yeah, what's well, cool, Jam? That's cool. Yeah. Um, both guitars. So I wanted to ask. Uh, early influences and could be bands but particularly i want to ask about like if there's one or two particular guitarists that maybe when you were a young kid that you saw that like that i want to want to pick up one of those axes and play like that um whatever i had on vinyl to play along with back in the day which was like venom and dark angel and of course metallica um guitar why those are some pretty heavy bands so you got into the heavy stuff pretty early early on yeah people want to learn how to play anything start with acdc i guess but uh you know a kiss of course but uh guitarist wise i don't know probably my dad because he had a guitar and then i broke it so he got me my own so that's my biggest influence pops uh metallica had a big influence not like either one of them in particular just metallica in general because that's, you know, the Attitude. songs were so... Well, just songs were so good and well-structured out. And then uh, Master of Puppets, definitely a big one. Were you a Metallica from the early days or right from the beginning? or I was born in 75. Okay, you're a little younger than us. <laughs> yeah, I, I got in when I could. <laughs> Master of Puppets, when that one, that's the one. And then I went back to the other two. And then Injustice for I guess you were only eight when Kill em All came out or something. Yeah, it's hard to listen to Metallica when you're eight years old and your parents are their 60s so <laughs> it doesn't really work out math wise yeah and then of course the uh, season of the abyss had a big influence too so those two are like pretty big influences until i get the death metal and that was a different thing altogether you know was there a particular band that drove you or some something maybe even pre-death metal that kind of led you i mean you're obviously in that first wave kind of, of american floridian even though you guys are from buffalo but they loop you in with the Floridian death metal. Yeah, I mean, other than like Kiss, Venom, Kiss, and getting into like rock and and metal um, and Venom and buying all the import records back in the day. Um, we're reading some stuff on uh, you know the web today about the, the albums that were sold, early Cannibal albums, right up there. And so, I mean, you obviously, you guys had an impact. But I mean, I guess maybe when you're going through that, you're not really. It's happening, right? I mean, yeah. a wave of. Sure. New yeah. stuff. Tape trading, yeah. Tape trading, finding Morbid Angel tapes and demos and stuff. And, you know, stuff that you would listen to, not a, not necessarily play along with, but you'd be like, okay, this is where the scene's going. So, uh, yeah. As far as playing along, Venom, Slayer, Exodus, Dark Angel, Napalm Death, because that's the early stuff. And then, uh, you know, just trying to improve on it. Most of those bands you just mentioned are so still and pretty much all still going um any thoughts on them currently i was going to ask about new bands but first i'll ask you about old bands that are still sure. playing and uh venom inc is going and uh, there's venom and venom inc and dark angel do you have a, yeah what's your vote where do you do you venom or venom inc i try i tend to lead on venom inc two of them right. two beats one yeah that's yeah because you love chronos got love chronos but you gotta love mantis and abaddon so man it's it's tough. last time i saw him here in san francisco a few months back they just destroyed i thought what venom ink yeah. venom ink yep yeah. oh with tony yep yeah. uh, all right anything from you what about um either old bands that are still going or is there any 
new bands and hard rock uh, genre that you're interested in or you like or you like what they're doing or it's I uh, ghost of course I'm digging on the ghost I'm a big ghost fan, uh, big ghost fan. Uh, my wife and I listen to Ailstorm with an A not the H Ailstorm uh, it's a couple of those things uh, I always even the older bands I always listen to their album at least hey what's up I always listen to the album even if I don't listen to it much I still give it a, give it a listen uh, are you a Ghost fan, Jack? Or um, I like the first one, and I like the newest one. They went a little electronica on the second one. But yeah, I support them. They're cool. Seem to be kind of decisive. A lot of people like them, and a lot of people hate them. Yeah, like what you like, and I dig it. And I don't care if anyone else does or doesn't. <laughs> you don't hate on others for what they enjoy. Yeah, man, I like what I like. Nothing. But they're not awesome. Ghost. They're not awesome. They're. The side's awesome. They're killer. The killer, not awesome. The new, of Phil, the new Cradle of Phil's killer. I got some good additions to that band. All right. Um, again, fortunate to have two guitars here. I don't know if you guys are interested in talking about any gear, old, new amps, guitars. Um, I'm using Crimson Cabs. I've got a Marshall JVM head I'm using. Uh, I use a RP10 Digitech. Go ahead and talk shit about it. I really don't care. <laughs> That's an old Go piece of gear. Yeah, it's like it's an old piece of gear that I love. And I am a uh, good endorsement with uh, Schecter Guitars. So I use their Hellraiser with a Sustainiac in there. And Jack? I will pimp out Blackheart Guitars, Crimson Cabinets, Line 6 pedals, and of course, Real Hammer pickups. Passive power. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so... Uh, because you said after this, focus on the new album. Any, any more? Well, you said you well, got some Hellfest. Europe, European. Hellfest, just anything that. else in Europe or just the Hellfest? Just Hellfest. Just that one. We get all the flights and info today, and we're ready to go for that. And then it'll be album, new stuff. And then will you have an idea when you think it might be out? End of the year, this year? It could be the end of this year. It could be beginning of next year. It all depends on what the process is like when we get home. You're not going to rush it? Nope. No Russian. No Russians. No Russians. No rush for the wicked. <laughs> yeah, I probably won't tour till 2017, which is fine. We've been out a lot, nonstop touring. Okay, got to do what you got to do, right? Yep. All right, uh, I appreciate your time. Anything you wanted to add to uh, people out there, Capital Cast TV? Uh, uh, go vegan, because I'm not. And you got to support it. Go vegan because Jack's not. Somebody's got to do it. Uh, Jack's not as nice as you think. Join the revolution. Anti-Jack Owen. You are number six. <laughs>